Hi, it's Nell, and today I am going to be planting up these arrowhead cuttings that I propagated 18 days ago. So stick around to see how I plant them and the mix I'm going to use. So I upload videos on a regular basis here on YouTube, all about gardening, both indoors and outdoors. And I would love to have you subscribe and come back for more. So I wasn't going to do this as a video, but there was a lot of interest in just a few days um, on the cutting. So I thought, why not? I also want to show you um, the root action on the ones in the water as compared to the ones in the succulent cactus mix. I haven't I haven't taken these out at all, but I can tell there's some root to them. And these have some nice roots on them. In just 18 days, they are more than ready to be planted at this point. So um, what happened too is there was some foliage that just died on the bottom. But as you can see, there is some nice new growth. This is new growth here. So don't worry if some of the foliage dies because you'll get new foliage coming out. And you can see how fast this happens. Okay, so you can see what's going on here. It looks like the ones in the mix actually have a little bit more extensive root action going on. And these were the ones I planted on the side here because the stems were curving, but you can see these are a little farther along than these, but I usually root in water just because I can see, but that's just a little comparison for you, but they are both ready to go, or all of them, all four. So what I usually do for arrowhead plants, um, if, if, if you watch the video I did on repotting arrowhead plants, you will have seen the mix. I, I, I usually use like half potting soil, half cocoa qua with a little bit of compost and maybe a few handfuls of pumice, but my cocoa qua is in the garage. <laughs> so I'm going to use a succulent cactus mix, which I have out from another video because it has a lot of the cocoa qua and the cocoa chips in it. I'm, I'm going to use that and half potting soil. And that is what the mix is going to be. Nice, chunky, light. That's what these plants uh, like. Just kind of mix it up. A little bit of a, a worm compost will be thrown in to get it all. Well, no, I'm going to put a little worm compost on the top. This is just some compost I'm putting in, which is like all that wonderful organic matter that they love. Okay, these plants are so very tough and they grow fast. I decided that, I'm glad I decided to put it in a six inch pot because I said with the video uh, and the last video about the propagating and the cuttings that I was gonna put them all in here, but oh my goodness. And this is for Brielle, who is behind the camera, so these will grow fast. She won't have to worry about having to bring them back to me to transplant <laughs> in, in, in fall, <laughs> at least for a while. So I'm going to put the ones on their side, on the, on the sides here. And you don't have to get real precise with this plant, because you saw my plant, how, how big it is, how thick it is, how fast it grows. These I hope I can just like poke into the mix. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That's the thing is this is the hard part. <laughs> and it's always the last, you know, video of the day. I'm going to get the scissors and poke down in and get these all lined up and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I'm just putting in a last few handfuls of the potting soil and the succulent and cactus mix. Ah, that is it. And it looks a little funny now. <laughs> These are on their side, but this plant grows so fast that by the end of the summer, it's going to all be filled in any way. Trust me, if you have arrowhead plants, they grow like crazy. So 
I am not going to water this plant now because I'm going to give it right to Brielle. But as soon as she gets home, she's going to water it thoroughly. And uh, she's just going to keep it watered about every seven days. If they start to droop and look a little bit dry, you can give it a little more water. I keep my house pretty pretty warm so I water my arrowhead plant the big one will start to droop after five or six days um, so it also depends on how warm your house is but as a rule in the warm warmer summertime every five to seven days on this maybe every two weeks in the winter time but be sure to water it water your cuttings right after you plant them and you want to keep this a little moister than you would your plant because it is still rooting in than your normal arrowhead plant that's established because it is still rooting in. Now I am going to top it off with some worm compost and it's it's funny because this leaf is so big on this cutting it's like woo just pulling on down but they are great plants and so easy to care for. So I hope you have found this video to be helpful. I did do um, have a video on propagating that I said. I did a propagating uh, a video on training my arrowhead plant and I also did a video on caring for the arrowhead plant. So those links will all be in the description box down below for you. So I thank you for all your likes and your subscribes. I truly appreciate them and this plant will be big and no time flat. Brielle will be happy to uh, watch its growth. And I have a lot more videos coming your way, so stay tuned for those. So let's get into our indoor gardens and make our worlds a more beautiful place. I thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!